when you're in this business of coming up with new treatments for patients, it all sounds really exciting. But until you actually see the data that shows that the drug has done what it's supposed to do, and that you actually are making a difference in patients' lives, it doesn't mean anything. Clinical pharmacology is the science of learning what the body does to a drug. Where does it go? How is it absorbed? How is it cleared? How is it metabolized? We are the people who can tell you whether to take the drug with food or without food, with milk or without milk, what to take it with and what not to take it with. It seems very simple to do this, but it's actually a very complex science. We'll get different data. The first data we'll get is what we call the pharmacokinetic data. And that's really looking at the concentration over time of the drug we just gave. Then we'll get the PD data, which generally is collected at the same time points. And this is looking at changes in things. And then we'll start modeling this data and building a PK-PD relationship. So how this plasma concentration or this dose relates to this effect. We have a lot more tools these days to be able to either increase the probability of technical success because we saw those data early on, or make a no-go decision early on and save a ton of money and exposure to patients when we know a drug's going to be unsafe. Coming up with mathematical models from huge populations of patients helps us understand the relationship in a broader population. And that's what helps us guide how we give the drug. The FDA is really working with us closely to evaluate the kind of data that we take stepwise to them and then build the story. So we build the evidence as we go, then we can confirm that this is a drug, it does what it's supposed to do, and here are the side effects and we can actually inform the patients. When you open a box of pills, you see a little package insert. And all that information that goes in the package insert is the data that we've collected along the way. Sometimes you can get drowned in the data and not really see what is it that you're analyzing? You know, just get into the math of it. It's actually data from patients that we are looking at. So we see that the manufacturing process... At the end of the day, we want to make sure that we are doing the right thing with this data so that we can actually learn more and how to treat these patients. It's exciting and every molecule is even more exciting than the last one. And I think it's that that keeps us here and keeps us driving.